Personal Development, a Common Sense Approach, written and read by Patrick J. Conlon. Introduction, my story. I'll never forget the exact moment I realized my life was about to go from bad to worse. At the time, I had been working an insane work schedule of between 60 to 70 hours per week as a self-employed business consultant. I was on the road traveling six days a week, which led to an extremely unhealthy lifestyle. Poor diet, no exercise, no water. Well, unless you count the eight cups of coffee a day I was drinking. Stressed out all the time and lucky to get four to five hours sleep on a good night. When I look back on things now, it was insane. I had been working this way for years. And as you may have guessed, eventually I hit the wall. I had a heart attack. I ended up in the hospital and required heart surgery to remove a blockage. To make things worse, the surgery did not go exactly as planned. And I ended up going into a coma for, well, almost four days. Came as close to death's door as I ever, ever want to come again. Well, until it's time to meet my maker. Eventually, I did manage to recover. And when I did, I knew things had to change. I knew I couldn't live this lifestyle anymore. Or next time, well, I might not be so lucky. I promised myself the day that I came home, things were going to change. Somehow, I was going to turn things around and get my life back on track. I had been given a second chance at life, and I wasn't about to throw it away. This was my wake-up call, and I was grateful for the opportunity. I began by taking a good hard look at my life. How did I end up here? How did I end up at the age of 49 in this situation? I was grossly overweight and looked at least 10 years older than I really was. My relationship with my wife and my kids consisted mainly of phone calls from the road and maybe the odd few hours on the weekend, which I can only imagine was no treat for them as I was always exhausted and just always stressed out. I had no real friends or interest outside of my career. The only area of my life that I thought I was somewhat happy with was my career. However, the truth be told, when I think about all the hours I worked and the level of stress I put myself under, I was grossly underpaid. This was not the life I signed up for when I boarded that plane in Chicago, headed for the Republic of Ireland more than a decade earlier with my wife and three small children. At the time, my vision of the future was bright and full of promise. I was determined to get back that vision of my life. I was determined to not only design a better life for both my family and myself, but to live it. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I was committed. After taking some time to recover from my near-death experience, I began the process of looking into various personal development programs. I really took it seriously, completely immersed myself in the process. Literally anything I could get my hands on, I could read, listen to, or attend. Tony Robbins, Stephen Covey, Napoleon Hill, Brian Tracy, Jim Rohn, Les Brown, and so many more. I studied NLP, neuroassociative conditioning, and listened to endless amounts of TED Talks and went to local seminars. Basically, if I can get my hands on it, if I could read it or listen to it, or if I can get my foot in the door, I attended it. After a while, I started making some progress. I lost a few pounds, improved my relationships, and even eliminated some negative behaviors such as eating junk food and limiting my alcohol consumption. But something would always seem to happen, and I would start to slip back in my old negative habits. It was two steps forward, one step back, one step forward, three steps back, up and down, side to side, back and forth. It seemed as hard as I tried, I just couldn't create the lasting change I was looking for. This continued for months, and I was beyond frustrated. But I was committed. I knew there was a way that would work for me. I just hadn't found it yet. I followed the advice I had provided to all the many sales professionals I had trained over the years. Persistence is always the key to success. Never give up. Then one day, like a lightning bolt, it came to me. A system. What I needed was a system of personal development that would work for me. This made perfect sense. After all, this was my specialty when I consulted with clients all around the globe. I created data management systems, sales systems, commission systems, training systems. Why not a system of personal development? 
I was excited. I knew I was onto something big. I was beyond confident that I could create a system of personal development that would work for me, that would help me to create the lasting change that I desired and that I needed. Now, it's important to note that when I initially decided to create a personal development system, I had no intention of ever sharing it with another living soul. It was to be used by me and me alone. I had no desire to create a system of personal development to be used by the masses and absolutely zero interest in creating another business to get involved in. After all, I had more than enough with my consultant business and in fact, I was looking to reduce my workload by 50% minimum, not take on more work. So, I started the process of designing my system. I was never a big believer in reinventing the wheel. So I started reviewing all the programs I had studied to, listened to, or attended up until this point. I spent countless hours researching, reviewing, reading, and listening to materials. After a few weeks or more, I started noticing a trend. All of the programs that had achieved any real measure of success in the marketplace had certain things in common. In fact, I narrowed it down to three. I refer to them as the three common denominators that all the great programs have in common. They all devote a huge amount of time to the topics of focus, balance, and purpose. I didn't care if it was Tony Robbins, Jack Canfield, Bob Proctor, Napoleon Hill. All the greats spent a huge amount of time covering the importance of these three core principles. Why? because they worked. The problem was, in my opinion, none of them had created what I believed to be a simple system that I could personally incorporate into my life that would ensure I stay on track. Please note, I am not saying that the programs or the systems they have created are not effective or worth using. I am simply saying that they did not work for me. I accept 100% of the responsibility for my failures. I have nothing but respect and admiration for all of the individuals I had mentioned. They are true greats, and I encourage all who are interested in personal development to study their methods and their systems. So, I began by creating a system to control my focus. A system designed to direct my attention to the most important areas of my life on a continuous basis. Areas such as the following, my relationships, my levels of health and fitness, my personal growth, and my finance. Next, I created a system that would not only allow me to achieve balance in these key areas, but maintain it as well. I knew from my own life and my own failures in life that balance was the key. After a lot of hard work, a lot of trial and error, I had it. I had created an extremely powerful tool or a system of how anyone could achieve and maintain balance in their life. The best part was, it was so easy to use, and it only takes a few minutes a day. Finally, I began working on a system of how I could not only identify my life's purpose, but live my life's purpose each and every day. Believe it or not, it was much easier than it sounds. Fortunately for me, There's a lot of great information out there on how to live a life with purpose. And years earlier, my wife and I spent a lot of time studying this topic when preparing for the big move from the United States to Ireland. In fact, the Irish Time newspaper featured me in an article back in April 2012 entitled The DIY Mind Doctors. In it, They documented the entire story of how my wife and I used the simple principles used in the well-known self-help book to identify our purpose and relocate our family to Ireland. Once I had my system completed, it was time to test it. I wish I could say it was perfect the very first time around. However, this was not the case. It took some time and it took some trial and took some error, but eventually I got there. I adjusted, tested adjusted, and tested some more. I dropped over 40 pounds and my energy level exploded. I completely rearranged and restructured my business and earned more money by becoming more productive in less time. 
I improve my relationships with my wife, children, friends, family, and my creator. Every aspect of my life changed, and I owe it all to this system. The best part is I have kept off the weight, my relationships are strong, grown in virtually every aspect of my life, and my finances have never been better all these years later. Keep in mind, I'm not asking you to take my word for it. I'm asking you to find out for yourself by learning this powerful yet simple personal system for yourself. The following pages will outline a step-by-step guide that you can follow to design your very own system of personal development. I believe it's easy to follow and simple to implement. When complete, you will have a powerful system designed specifically for you. Think of it as a blueprint for success. A blueprint to assist you in improving your relationships, increasing your health, your fitness, developing and becoming more, and creating more security and freedom in your life. I strongly encourage you to make a committed decision right now that you're going to learn and implement this system into your life for the next 30 days. Use it to design the life you deserve, and don't make the same mistake I made of waiting until you almost lose it all before deciding to take action. Start today by committing to this program for the next 30 days. If you do, I am beyond confident you will amaze yourself with the results. You will improve your relationships, your health, your fitness, your level of personal growth, and your finances. You will learn how to achieve and maintain balance in your life so you will no longer be living in the state of reaction and can start the process of proactively living the life you deserve. Finally, you will learn how to not only identify your life's purpose, but how to live that purpose each and every day. With this in mind, I would like to share with you my purpose in life. At this stage in my life, my purpose is simply to share this amazing system of personal development with as many individuals as possible. I have a vision in my mind that before it's time for me to meet my maker and leave this earth, there will be literally tens of thousands of individuals using this system each and every day, using it to create lasting change and live in the lives they deserve. I would love for you to be one of them. Patrick J. Conlon, creator of the One Source Personal Development System.